Boom! What's going on guys? My name's Zach and today we're going to be looking at a plugin for After Effects called Real Small Motion Blur. Um, and what that does, in my view, it makes YouTube videos look like they're running at higher than 30 FPS. So obviously YouTube only encodes your videos at 30 frames per second. It doesn't matter what you upload, if it's th uh, 60 frames per second, 120, whatever. It always defaults it down to 30 frames a second. So anything you can do to make it look really nice and above that in my opinion, is worth doing. So if you've got After Effects, you can uh, search around for this plugin. Obviously, go and buy it. I'll not tell you to like search Real Smart Motion Blur for free on YouTube because obviously that's cheating. But what, so basically I'll do a little test right now. I've got this Stratio all set up here and we're going to be moving the camera around and doing some flybys and things like that and just stuff that you would normally see in game that would make it look awesome. So, Let's get this started, and obviously since it's Christmas, this is like a shiny Stratio, so check this out guys. Like a fucking boss! It's like a Christmas Stratio, so we're just going to start moving the camera around. Obviously this at the moment is no motion blur, because we haven't had it in After Effects yet, but uh, we'll do it like moving around it, and it works really well with the advanced, uh, not the advanced camera, sorry, the uh, tracking camera, so... Like it is in the PV videos, which I do, it looks really fucking good, like if you move it around and then... Because the, the camera's really good at uh, tracking stuff. So what else we got on screen here? There's a little can. So we'll set that bad boy as the parent, and we'll set the Christmas Stratios as the interest. Then we'll do some orbits with the micro drive, and you'll be able to see. So like I said, the motion blur is off at the minute, but once this is in After Effects, you'll see, well, hopefully you'll see a massive difference. Uh, one thing I will say is that I've got a 120 hertz screen, and it looks super smooth anyway, so... Way, that looked awesome. So, if you're running a 60 FPS screen, a uh, 60 hertz screen, sorry, it might not get the same impact as what I do, because obviously 120 hertz is a lot smoother, doesn't matter what you're looking at, so... That's a little bit of footage there anyway. That's going around in a circle, so... I'll cut this off now and I'll drop it into After Effects and I'll catch up with you in a second. Right guys, we're in After Effects now and let's try and import with footage really quick. Uh, the Last Eve stuff we did, that's this one. Ooh, and look at all this juicy stereo stuff which I'm not going to show you at the minute, <laughs> but it's coming. So we'll quickly make a new composition. And we'll find, I think we'll find the bit where I did the flyby at the end. Is this one? No. That one. That's the one. Right. Oop, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Fucked up. Right, so we'll kick it back to here, I think. Let's just do this really quick. Is it this one? There it is. So, screw about After Effects, I know. So we can see on this shot here, let's give it some full res. If we do some frame by frame stuff, there's no blur anywhere. That's just like a perfect Eve flyby, which looks really awesome the way it is with all the, the Christmas lights on it. So what we need to do now um, is add on with motion blur. So RSMB, real small motion blur. We'll just drag it on then automatically you can see it's already affected the screen. It's like quite a lot of the stuff's blurry, but that's because a lot of the, the scene is actually moving. So if we just, for example, bump this up to 80 so you can really see the effect. And if we just mute the audio, because you don't want to hear us talking twice. And if we give it a quick RAM preview. Just give that two seconds. So you can already see the blur and effect there, like especially around the bottom of the hull and some of these parts in the center are, are still light in focus because they weren't moving as much. And you can also affect that with the sensitivity settings on the blur itself. So let's give that a quick play. Oh, that looks super nice. That looks really, really nice. Especially when you notice the bottom of the hull is all blurred out. And it's, yeah, that's awesome. So if you keep an eye on the wings there. Oh, lush. Very nice, so let's pull this back a little bit more to where it's starting to really move. There we go. So you can see on some of these clips, because I was moving the camera around really quick and like ridiculous, you, you're going to get some like epic blurs like this. And it does look alright if you can get away with it, but like I mean, 
the sh- just because it's going past the moon here so it's it's blurring the moon out as well as the ship and it really looks like a mess so you, you could actually mask all that out but it wouldn't be worth it you would probably just like decrease the sensitivity a little bit that's, a, that's another good one so you can see this the center of the ship where it wasn't moving as much for the camera is still like quite in focus and the rest of it's all like blurred out so it really is it gives a really good depth of field and um like the extra smoothness of it it, it gives that effect of beyond 30 fps when you hit it on youtube which is really awesome so i hope that's a little bit helpful and another thing i've been doing recently on me vids i don't know if it's just me or youtube but um it seems to be sort of desaturating the colors of me videos a little bit so i've just been bumping that up um obviously this varies per shot but I'll not kick it up too high because we've got a big sun blur there. So we'll probably go for like, say, 20, 20% or something. Yeah, so that looks pretty. The sun looks a bit overpowered there, but once that hits YouTube, that'll be absolutely perfect. And also brightness as well. Don't know. I've always had a problem with brightness on my vids, especially the Eve stuff. So let's just drag that up. Probably no more than 10%. No, oh, that's probably a bit much actually. So you can see that it's getting a little bit washed out straight away there. No, one five. So that's very awesome. So once that hits the YouTube, the colors will be a little bit more faded and the the brightness will be back to where it started, hopefully, because like I say, I've had massive issues. I don't know if anyone else has. Uh, I've seen so many videos where they're just like ridiculously dark. Um, Obviously, I've got my brightness on my monitor quite high as well, so that'll vary for other people, but... Trying to find the perfect settings for Eve as well. It's just like totally fucking epic when you're recording, especially. So that's pretty much it. That's the blur. And it, I mean, it does look awesome when it's running. I know it's quite hard to tell now, but I'll put all this footage like free running at the end so you can sort of see like just what effect it does. Um, yeah, so that's about it. If you haven't got... Uh, after effects or anything like that and you'd like to put this motion blur stuff on please upload your video like fully edited with the music and everything and um this, i mean if the video isn't like 30 minutes long or whatever i can like download it um put the motion blur on for you and then re-upload it and then you can download it and re-upload it or whatever you want to do to, uh, to put it on your channel or just for like personal use but i'm willing to help people out if they want to put these effects on even if it's if it's just like for one clip i can do that if it's a minute long that doesn't take me long to upload because my internet is really really bad it's like 0 0.7 upload and uh it takes fucking forever just to upload anything even a gig takes like just oh, like leave computer on overnight go to sleep like get married have kids like grow old and stuff so i'll leave you with that guys and i'll catch you in the next one